Hi guys, welcome back to the Mad Loud House. We decided to do another small, tiny little renovation, but it is literally just to make our lives a little bit easier. Um, and I'll show you now what the problem is. So this is where the washing machine is, but because I have a top loader, um, we couldn't fit the machine in there where it's supposed to be, like, with, like the tumble dryer and, and the um, dishwasher. So it's always a mission when it rains too much, we have to move this whole thing out of the way to get to the tumble dryer, which actually just lands up us never using it. So I made a suggestion, because there's no ways you can do it any other way, made a suggestion that we move this to the garage instead of it being here, and then it's out of the way. We obviously got a quote from a plumber, but it was ridiculous because we have to add a tap and we have to add obviously a, a, a water line or pipes or whatever. Um, and my husband actually started doing this today. So let's go check it out. Okay, so this is the garage where we've decided to, to put the new wash machine. Uh, and we are busy getting through this wall. So the machine will stand here instead of in that spot. Good boy. To the top. Okay, look now how you must hold it, eh? No, 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 Okay, so let's see how far he got today. Look how much it's rained all day. Just rain, rain, rain. So we actually sorted out another problem, which is the washing that doesn't dry with all this rain that we have for so many months a year. Um, He's actually put lines up for me in the garage where we can actually keep the door open and then it can dry. I'll show you now what my alternative used to be. Because of this used to be my alternative. Just to get the washing dry because when you're six people in a house, there is a whole lot of washing. It needs to be dry, dried, and obviously we cannot hang this stuff outside because it's so wet. Like it's, I mean this, a wash line here and over there is pointless when it's raining. So, 
Yay, thank you, lovey. For a wash line under a roof that can hopefully just make our lives a little bit easier. See, like we put the stuff on hangers and we just hang it all over the place. Like just to give you an example. Like, it's all over. You can just sort of store it somewhere there on the floor. Or you can fold it up or roll it up or whatever you want to do. But just the perfect wash line for when it doesn't stop raining because we've had this problem now um, for two years with hectic crazy rain. I bought this one not too long ago. It wasn't expensive, I think it was 400 Rand. It's quite nice because it goes in and out. Problem is it's very small. So you can't possibly fit all this washing, you know, on this tiny little rail. So we had to make another plan. And I must say, I'm quite impressed because it re literally didn't cost a lot of money. And well, I actually think you did a really good job. I think somebody wants to say hello. Hello, Calvin. What you doing, Calvin? Hey, what's that in your hand? Nothing. Okay, then yeah, this is where he, um, it's very dark in here, sorry, it's load shedding. We are moving the wash machine into the garage. As I explained earlier, there was nothing here. All these tables were, were standing here. So we made a hole in the wall, which now we obviously have to patch um, for the water to drain. And my wonderful husband installed a little tap. I don't want to open it. Let's see what happens. Oh, goodness. Okay, he's obviously turned the water off because there's like nothing coming out here. But he's installed a little tap for me for the wash machine. And then there's the pipe and where it goes out to drain. So my wash machine will come here. And there's obviously an electrical point to connect it. So he's worked for the night guys. Space for my wash machine and new wash lines for the rainy days like we've had. Okay, so this is the back end of it. So that's obviously the, the little tap, I think, with the pipe running. It's very muddy. We still have a lot of rounding off work here to like, it's a bit of a mess here. Yeah? But I'm sure once it's all done, there, there you can see, that's the, show me your, yay, I can see you. That's the hole that they drilled and that is the whole um, new line that they installed to go into the drain, the existing drain that we had. So this obviously needs to get sorted out, um, which we will get to. But it's been such a wet and rainy day that um didn't really do much outside as you can see with all the water and everything okay just to quickly let you guys know these rails look like over a door if you live in like a, a, a apartment they hook over the door and they're actually quite big i mean there's quite a lot of washing on here and they're only a hundred rand, literally, at pet home. They are a hundred rand. I bought two because I was scared it wasn't going to be strong, but they're actually quite amazing. Good, <laughs> Mixing cake mix. No, I'm making cake soup. Mix. I'm making soup. Soup. Yeah. What is that? 
taste. Is it the cement? Yeah. Is it fun? I'm gonna put it in, in the hole. hole. Day three, we left everything to dry. And early on day four, we started painting. We left the paint to dry overnight. Okay, so as you can see, the wall dried quite nicely. We only had to do one layer. It was pretty much the same color as what we had before, which was really just luck. Kids messed a bit on the ceiling, but I will just fix that. And then we are definitely good to move the machine. Super excited. Okay, so the floor has been washed. And we re Okay, so the wash machine is here. And that's where the shelves are gonna come up. Hey, Fatty. Okay, so guys, it's time for me to quickly unpack everything. Um, I literally went to Pep Home and I bought containers and like everything was just so cheap. Um, but I will list that for you and then I will show you what I've done. Let me quickly unpack everything. And there we have it guys basically cost me nothing I will list all the costs in the description box below but here is our new wash corner and now my actual that wall there is a bit dirty we'll just have to clean that um, but now, yes, we can do the washing here and um, obviously not worry about the rain because we've got all these new lines up which we can off hook when we need to, when we don't want it up. But it's been raining so much that we actually needed this. And then... Um, a new wash corner and now my pantry actually has space and I can use my tumble dryer